So today we're looking at the new editor that's available with .NET Nuke 5 and up, or it might be 5.2, I'm not exactly sure uh, when the new editor became available. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is if you're doing an upgrade from an earlier version, you're not going to have the editor by default. You're going to actually have to open up your web config file, search for HTML editor, and change your default provider to the Telerik editor. Uh, by default, uh, the um, upgrade process doesn't change the editor, so you'll have to manually go in here and change it, and then, uh, and then relaunch your site. And once you do so, you'll see the new editor. The new editor is actually pretty nice. Um, I've heard that some people don't like it, and I think it's probably just to the fact that, you know, there's, some, uh, there's a little bit of change and maybe some new things to learn, but otherwise, I think it's a lot better. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. It has things like a spell checker, uh, a better document and image manager, and also has the ability to uh, like uh, create image maps, which are clickable links within a single image. So you can have multiple uh, links uh, on an image. So uh, another nice thing is you can kind of resize it there uh, while you're working on your content. And uh, we'll just go over a couple of the features here. Uh, obviously, there's all, still all the basic features that you would normally see. Um, you can apply any styles that you have uh, on the site itself, um, or you can manually change the uh, font and the size of the font. Taking a look, uh, quick look at the image manager. Uh, this definitely looks different than what it used to be. Um, all of these Im all these managers, whether it be document or media, flash or templates or image manager, always look in the same location. They just look for different types of files. So you can see here, just to insert, we uh, just click on any one of the icon, any one of the images that are already uploaded, or you can click on upload and upload your own. So we'll insert that, and uh, you know another nice feature is uh, being able to create the uh, image map again. So if you bring up the image map editor, you can um, create links within the image itself. So if we uh, wanted to make that go to like Google, and uh, we'll have that pull up in a new window, and then if you wanted to create uh, another area and uh, have the link over here go to a different location. So we'll have that one go to yahoo.com. Obviously this can go to just other pages on your site and just pull up in the same window. Uh, but for the sake of this example, we'll do this. And we'll click OK. And so now we have two clickable links um, within this image. So that's pretty cool, not something that you were able to do before with the old editor. Um, other things that you can do is uh, insert a date, you know, insert a date and uh, insert the time. You can uh, upload documents and, and link to documents within your content. The, the link manager is now a little bit more tightly integrated and looks a little bit nicer. So if I wanted to link to another page on the site, it's actually pretty simple. I could just select from a drop down, drop down of available pages. I can also change the uh, target to be in the same window. Uh, the link text, we'll just say, click here to go home. And then you can put in a tooltip. So if you hover over the link, uh, this is what you'll see here. So you can see uh, er everything is pretty nice. <laughs> easy to go through and manage the content. One of the really nice features that it has is also a spell checker. So to go through and check all the spelling within your content, suggest uh, any new, um, suggest any corrections. And uh, the uh, one of the other things I really like is the table editor is a lot nicer and much easier to use. So let's just uh, insert a table really quick. We'll do a three by, th uh, three by two there. So we just select the table then right click and we'll select our table properties and from here we could change a lot more properties than we were able to change before first of all you have some uh, default styles that can get applied to your tables um, you can go into the table design and, and here's where you can span columns so if you wanted to span these two together you'd uh, you just get, click on column span you also have row span options or if you wanted to add additional rows or additional columns you could do that as well 
Um, it's easy to change any property uh, in the table. So we can do 80% width. And uh, you can apply any CSS styles that you might have that you've created for the site. So click on OK and we we'll see what that looks like. And uh, obviously you have your header row here. You have uh, columns. Uh, and you can see that they've adopted the style that we've put in. And then if you wanted to just go in and add another row below, the context menus are really nice. So if you just right click anywhere within the table, you can insert a row below. Or if you wanted to insert a column to the right, you could do that as well. So much nicer for managing uh, your tables within your content. Um, but that's just a quick look at the editor. Uh, obviously there's, there's a lot of features that are available in the editor and I'll have a link to the manual if you wanna go through all the features. But uh, I think it's worth changing over. It's definitely worth upgrading, um, putting in all the security fixes for your site. And if you have any questions about upgrading from a previous version to the current, which have uh, at this time is 544, um, then just uh, shoot a comment in and uh, I'll answer that right away. Thanks a lot and uh, we'll see you again soon.